Gabby here and yes it is the end of Magical Girl May and it is not a Magical Girl themed video sadly but I did pre-order my Tropical Rouge Precure figures and they're getting shipped this week so like that's the most Magical Girl content I have. I didn't know they were going to take so long to release them. That was my plan for the end of the month but today I thought we would do a little birthday get ready with me. It's my birthday today! Woo! Yay! Woo! Yeah! Turning 23! Woo! Which like I know probably so many of you are like she's turning 23 she looks like she's like 12 <laughs> which I get often but yeah we're gonna just I'm gonna show you how I did my makeup today I'm going to go see the Demon Slayer movie and I'm very excited so let's just jump into it I spent way too long doing my makeup and I had a whole um, philosophical discussion with you so if you're into that why not hit the subscribe button it's right there do it it's my birthday please do it thank you all right we're gonna jump into it i will see you all facially naked but i will do my makeup for you so let's just go we're gonna go we're gonna go who's excited i'm excited because this makeup is cute we're just starting with my albino colored pale person bb cream it's the misha one i think i mentioned it in my last cosplay makeup tutorial. I think for the price it is probably my favorite BB cream I have ever used because I love the Skin 79 one but it is like so freaking expensive. It's like I think like 20-30 bucks. Granted it lasts me like forever but I think I've still, I think this is my first one of the Misha and I use it like every time. I put on makeup so I think it's so good also they have the, the, the cute one with like the little line bear on it I really want that one but they don't make it in my skin color they only make it in like the darker ones they don't make the cute line ones for shade 13 bright beige I am but a bright beige being I forgot to grab face powder good job me We'll do that later. We're getting ready. It's my birthday. I'm going to go see the Demon Slayer movie. Finally, I'm way too excited, honestly. Now, I will say that wasn't my initial plan for my birthday. <laughs> my plan was not going and seeing the Demon Slayer movie initially. I had one thing I wanted to do on my birthday, but because the weather is so crappy this weekend, there is no way to do it. So I instead am going to go see the Demon Slayer movie, which I'm very excited about. Because as you all know, if you follow me on Instagram, not only have I cosplayed Mitsuri, who is top tier, her and Shinobu are my favorites, as we know. But I also, like I love everyone in Demon Slayer, but I love Shinobu especially, but I've cosplayed Mitsuri and I just love Demon Slayer. I don't shut up about Demon Slayer. It's one of my favorite series, highly recommend it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna like slightly replicate my Mitsuri cosplay makeup that I did. So I think that's my plan for today. But yeah, turning 23, how's it feel? You may ask yourselves. Um, it's kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like everyone can relate to like how 2020 and like 2021 have kind of just been like chaotic years and like everything is super unpredictable and if you know anything about me I don't like unpredictability I like planning everything I am just a big overthinker, and so the past two years for me have just been very chaotic as one could guess and so I've always been very how do I explain this nicely? Like, my interests in things are always very, like, one week I'll be really into, like, painting, and then, like, the next week I'll really want to focus on my sewing and this and that. I never really can focus on something for a long period of time, which, like, I don't know why, but, like, that's just Gabby brain for you. And so, one of the big things that I really pushed myself to do during going from 22 to 23 was um, 
doing YouTube more. And like, I know I just have this little baby community platform where we freaking hit 700. And I know that's not a lot, but to me, that's a lot. And I like freaked out when I saw that. And like, I can't fathom that 700 people subscribed, like what? And so I've just been really enjoying doing YouTube and like putting together videos and trying different editing and coming up with concepts. I love the whole process. And so like having stuck to this for so long, I think I've been consistently uploading twice a week now for what? Since like, I wanna say maybe since January or February. It's been the greatest thing to happen to me, honestly, because it's kept me in like a schedule because um, this past year, I've been very much all over the place. I graduated college, turned 22, had a job, lost a job, and then had another job, lost that job. Not lost, I left that job because I was offered a temp job and then the temp job didn't work out. But then this past week, I actually started getting paperwork and things done for my brand new job and it's a full-time job and I'm so excited. And like, if you had told me this time, like if you had told me at 22 that at 23, I would have found a job that I was happy with, I wouldn't have believed you because I was in such a horrible place and just didn't think it was going to get better, which I feel like in retrospect, all of 2020 was me just assuming it was never gonna get better because it just felt so isolating and so awful. And graduating into that environment was so horrible for me, honestly. And I feel like so many people who also graduated in 2020 can relate to, it felt like we all just got thrown into a job market that had no jobs and it was just a mess. And so uh, that has been like my biggest goal and like to know that like uh, now at 23, I'm going to be working full time and like being able to take care of myself is like the most exciting thing you could tell me. Like I'm so proud of myself for sticking through all of the crap that went on this past year and trying to constantly do more to get better. And I think honestly, this past year has been such a, like focusing on me and doing more for me like I know that always people are like oh I'm taking time to take care of myself and that's something I always said but I didn't actually really take care of myself until this past year I would say I finally am taking care of all my freaking physical health problems which like if anyone wanted to hear about that maybe one day I'll make a video about all my fun little medical problems that are going on and how as a cosplayer I deal with chronic pain and so many fun things going on but I've been fit taking care of my physical and mental health which has been I just realized I put my brush inside my bag bad Gabby it's been the great the it's been the best thing I've been doing for myself is actually taking care of myself and listening to my body and doing things to improve myself other things that have been helping me this past year that have been like a freaking great thing. I finally, and like this probably sounds ridiculous, I've been actually been able to take time to do things that I wanna do. Now obviously there's things I wanna do that I couldn't go out and do, but being able to just sit and watch anime for a day and not have to worry about homework or schoolwork or like a job was kind of nice and like being unemployed for a while was incredibly stressful and I absolutely hated it. But what I would tell past Gabby or anyone else in that situation to do is to find something that you want to improve at that you can improve at. You're still doing work. Yes, it might be work for yourself, but it is work and if it is in a field or a craft that you want to do for employment, then take that time to get better at it. I've definitely been trying to learn more about editing and filming because in the future that is what I'd like to do. I do want to keep working in media, that's what I went to school for, if you didn't know. So I love getting to do any sort of creative outlet. Also, do y'all like, I swear I show it off every time, but it's like my favorite thing. My freaking Sailor Moon pajama sweatshirt thing. Another thing I really learned this year 
was that I need to surround myself with things that make me happy in order to be happy. If I'm in a chaotic environment, if I can just have one thing that sparks joy, as simple as it might be, it makes such a difference for me. And for me, that's been colors and having like, even just like wish lists of things I want. One thing that is like the big goal or like the big thing that's gonna happen in turning 23 is I will be moving out for the first time. Granted, I like lived, like I moved out in college and like lived in a dorm, but this will be like my first time like on my own and getting to decorate an apartment. So having something like that to look forward to has been like insanely exciting for me. Cause as you may know, um, I love just a colorful space. I really am excited to get to decorate a full on bedroom and an apartment and get to share that with you. Like I wanna do so many like crafts and DIYs. Oh my God. I wanna like just make my house strawberry shortcakes house <laughs> not actually my poor roommates would kill me if they came into the apartment and it just was strawberry themed as much as i want to do that to them i like 22 was such a hard year for me but like i'm so optimistic going into 23 because of all the work i've done at 22 and i know that probably sounds like really unhelpful advice but like you don't have to be turning in age. It doesn't need to be a birthday for you to like reflect on where you are right now and where you want to be. And even if the path you go on to get to that next step isn't that some perfect straight line, it's some wavy path, you can get there. And like, I'm telling you that because I was in the same spot. I really didn't think that I would be able to do what I'm going to be able to do this year at 22 like I didn't think it would be possible I fully was like there is no way I'll be able to move out there's no way I'm gonna have a job there's no way I'm going to be able to be happy and like I'm doing so well and I'm really happy with myself because I've been putting the work in to make myself better now that's not to say that I have not been doing all this work without an incredible support system I have had the most amazing friends to just be the greatest people ever this whole time. Oh my goodness. Whether it's been like idolized, like we all do like game nights or anime nights and things like that. That's been so much fun. Just getting to talk to my friends has been the best thing for me. Just hearing their voices alone can just make my day so much better. I honestly, that's been like another thing I super am like, please, I know everyone's like sick of Zoom calls and things, but if you can't see all your friends, put them in a Zoom call. It's been the best thing to happen to me. Oh my goodness. Like we did like Christmas and we did like a little graduation party and we do like birthday parties. It's so fun. And then like with my college friends, we've been having what I'll call nostalgia parties where each of us kind of picks a TV show or a movie that we watched as a kid and then we all watch it together like I watched Gravity Falls for the first time this year oh my goodness loved it I don't know how I waited so long to watch it but I apparently did and then like what else have we been watching we started watching Total Drama Island because one of my friends had never seen it and that's a travesty if you ask me because I lived off of Total Drama Island as a child I was obsessed Honestly, that's probably where my like start of loving reality TV show came from. Let's be real. Oh my goodness, I keep getting those freaking ads for Discovery Plus to get all those 90 Day Fiance spinoffs. And I'm resisting because I don't want to spend more money on 90 Day Fiance alone. But that's all I would get Discovery Plus for. And that's why I'm resisting. I promise I will not buy Discovery Plus. If I ever almost buy Discovery Plus, please stop me. I'm pro promise me, y'all, Pinky promise me, you will not let me buy Discovery Plus. Promise. Okay, you gotta, you gotta keep your word on it. I will not get Discovery Plus. <laughs> Probably should tell you what I'm using. So I used the color Woke all over the lid, the crease and under that. And now I'm gonna go in with the color My Milkshake and we're just gonna just put pink everywhere. That's just, the message of the video is just put pink everywhere. But I think one of my big goals for 23 is to 
stand up for myself better and be a better self-advocate. I think that's such an important thing to do regardless of how old you are or anything at any point. Always be your own advocate because the only advocate you're gonna have is yourself in the end of the day. Yes, you can have your friends, your family, your partner, whoever support you, but you need to be the advocate for yourself so that way, because you're the only one who knows what you really want. Your friends and whoever can know, think they know what you want, but in the end of the day, you're the one that knows what you want. So that's one of my big goals is to really be comfortable advocating for myself more than I hope. I mean, my goal in doing this video, honestly, is I kind of want to, like, next year, I kind of want to make another one of these videos and, like, either react to, like, things I said in this or, like, reflect on the next year and so on and so forth if you end up liking this. I don't know. Is that weird? It's kind of like my little, this is the closest I've got to a diary right now because I never was a diary kid. Is that weird? Like, did other people actually have diaries growing up because, like, I always like would start a diary and then I never finish it like I could go through I have so many journals that I started as a kid and I maybe do like three entries and then the rest of the journal would be blank and then I'd go get another journal and like there'd be three entries and then the rest was blank I don't know why I did this does anyone else do this or even like sketchbooks oh my goodness do you know how many sketchbooks I've started and then never finished it's embarrassing I'm taking the color Delish, which is like this super shimmery champagne and just, we're just putting it all up in the inner corner because I need glitter. I will say though, as things are opening up, there are like things I want to learn and like classes I want to take. I don't know yet if I want to jump into grad school, but there are like classes I want to take. I'm honestly, I've been heavily considering getting a certificate, like some sort of art related certificate. Um, if you didn't know, I did want to go to art school, but I chose not to. Long story. Maybe one day we'll go into my high school art trauma, but not today. Um, but I wanted to go to art school, chose not to in the end. And so I would like to maybe get some sort of certificate or degree in some art related field. Maybe, I mean, my goal would be fashion design. I'm not going to lie to you. That's been like dream job always has been to go into fashion design or cosmetics design and like marketing has always been like my dream, dream job. Always, always has been. That's why I could have had a beauty channel, chose not to, but y'all know. I'm very, I jump around with my interests, so it's probably a good thing that I didn't immediately jump into a certain program or whatever. Also, I'm gonna do my eyeliner off camera. Y'all know, you've seen me do it once. It's not cute, but we're just gonna do some blush to make everything a little more colorful. And it's the strawberry one, like, come on, did you think it was anything else? But yeah, I think I want to go back to school in some capacity, whether that's for a certificate or even like to take like dance classes or cooking classes. I really miss dancing and I've wanted to, you know, be more involved and try new things. I'm just like a big experience person, I think is what I've learned especially, is like I could buy or own as many things that make me happy, but nothing makes me happier than actually experiencing something. Like I could look at a video of someone learning to do something, or I could watch a tutorial on how to do something, but for me, that isn't the same, obviously. It's not the same as like actually getting to do it. And I think what I really learned is that instead of watching someone else learn to do something or filling my, how do I explain this? Instead of getting things to make me happy, like physical things to improve my mood, I want to focus more on gaining experiences and putting more of my positive energy into experiences rather than physical things so like yeah i'll buy things on occasion but to say like if i'm having a crappy day or if i have a really good day and i want to reward myself to say i'm gonna go out and buy something 
or I could go and see my friends or go see a movie or something like that. I'd rather put more towards experiences. That's what I think I'm trying to say. I hope that made any sort of sense. I hope any part of this video makes sense because I feel like I'm just rambling to you. So I'm hoping this is enjoyable, but I'm gonna go do eyeliner. I'll be right back. You know what I want actually? This is what I want. This is my birthday present that you all can give me is what I really want. I would like you either to write a nice message to your past self or just write something really good that happened to you this past year in the comments. That's all I want, just to keep that positive energy because that's what I'm really hoping to do with this video is really just show that like there is growth and there is potential for something that could seem like a really bad situation to be better. Because so I will be straight up here. I usually don't associate my birthday with like a happy day. Like, not that it's always been bad but there's been things that have happened on my birthdays in the past that have just made it kind of harder for me to celebrate and I think that's kind of why I want to make this video is like yeah the day that could be your day might not be your best day but you can make any day a better day or your best day because I don't think a birthday should be a one day thing I think you should celebrate yourself more than just one day a year because you're doing your best and you're trying your hardest and that should be celebrated the whole year not one day does that make sense am i being too philosophical for you am i being crazy i've only had one cup of coffee i tried to keep it tame i was like do i pour myself a glass of wine for this video but then i was like there is no way i'm gonna be able to do my makeup after having wine is that a video anyone would want to see does anyone want to watch me try to do cosplay makeup drunk would that be entertaining? <laughs> Just concepts I'm throwing out for y'all for videos because I have so much planned for the next few months. I'm so excited. Mostly a lot of like apartment decorating and like DIYing and crafting things. Like I want to make one of those freaking cloud mirrors that were really popular on TikTok last year. You know what I'm talking about, like the spray can foam that you spray around a mirror. I either want to make a bunch of mirrors or I wanted to maybe make like a bunch of picture frames and do like cute little collages in them. I just, I want to craft things. Honestly, if there's like a craft you would want to see me try to attempt, just send it to me over on Instagram. I love just like trying to recreate things. All right, lips, 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 lips. Almost done. I need to hurry up or else I know we'll be late to the movie and it'll be my fault. Because even if I'm like, oh, I can get ready quickly, biggest lie you'll ever hear. If I ever tell you I can get ready in 10 minutes, that's a lie. But like, can we talk for a second? How cute this lipstick is. It's a little bunny. Can we focus? Look, it's a little bunny. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, I know I haven't put powder on, but like, Sometimes I don't put powder on because if it's like gross weather and I put powder on, then it just makes my skin drier. So I'd rather my skin be like wet or like just not powdered. Yeah, Y'all know the drill. It's my favorite. What tip from Peri Para? What I do, you take a tissue or something. And just pat and blend to make like a gradient lip situation. That's that. Wow, we did that. Makeup is on. I'm probably not gonna wear my Sailor Moon shirt to the movie, but I feel very comfortable. And that's what matters. I definitely need to. I don't even know what time it is, and I'm like. I hope I didn't make us late to the movie. Girl, that's embarrassing. Well, it's my birthday. I can make us late to the movie. Fashionably late to the movie. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, yes, you, go hit the subscribe button. It's my birthday. Just hit the button. Do it. Please. Thank you. 
in the comments down below. You can wish me a happy birthday. You can tell me your thoughts on the Demon Slayer movie. You can leave some nice positive messages to yourself. Anything you want to do, just leave a nice comment because it would really make my day just so much better. I'm very nervous because it's my birthday. It's just, my birthday is an anxiety day every year, so it's just, just give me a little something to calm down would be nice. If you haven't yet, go follow me over on Instagram. It's at Gabby Jabby Cosplay. It's always linked in the description if you want to see cosplay photos or previews for upcoming videos. I post them over on Instagram if you want to check them out. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!